Alright, hey YouTube. So, I'm going to make another video. Uh, it's going to be a multiple part series video on how to restore your Droid Bionic back to Jelly Bean, the official 422. Um, currently, I don't know if this will show. Alright, well, you can barely tell, but I'm on 422. Um, I'm on Cyanogen Mod version 1010. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be going back to stock Jellybean 422, which is the one that I have a Verizon phone. So I'm going to go back to that. <clears throat> I am rooted currently. And um, let me show you real quick. I'm going to open up Titanium Backup. And if you've ever used Titanium Backup before, that first one says root access. And then you see that check mark right there. So I do have root access. And... Um, there's tutorials out there saying that if you're on 422 uh, Jelly Bean Official, you should do a forever root or something that allows you to keep your root. Well, I wanted to do that, but I ended up not worrying about it and um, found a different way to root your phone even if you do back to official firmware. So the first part of this series is actually um, modifying the fxz file to allow you to flash it again because we're going to be using rsd light to flash it back in uh, we're going to put it on a specific mode a safety mode so we can flash it and then we actually have to modify the file we're going to be flashing to it because of uh, an issue that it has with something and i'll clarify everything else on the rest of the video so Right now I just wanted to show you my actual phone and show you that it was rooted and it is running Cyanogen Mod 10.1.0, the one that just came out in June, late June. And um, I don't know, I get really bored with my ROMs and stuff or maybe I just want to go start fresh again. So that's what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to start fresh and we'll go from there. Alright, so we're on the computer now and I'm actually going to be using a guide from... Um, Android Central, someone was having an issue with the FXZ file 2 and flashing it with RSD Lite. Um, and so DirtDog57 came up with the solution of opening a file within the FXZ zip file and removing uh, two lines. Now, you can try just straight up um, flashing the FXZ file to your phone. But if you come up with this error right here, uh, usually around step 5 uh, out of 24 OEM, FB mode set, <clears throat> phone return fell. If you get that, then that's because of the issue that I was having. And usually, I when I first did it, coming from um, Ice Cream Sandwich, it went fine. But after I rooted it, and uh, after I installed Jelly Bean 412, and I also rooted it and such, this always happened so I'm guessing once you want to go back to FXC you're gonna have to do this every time but the good thing is you do it once save that FXC file you should be able to flash it every time so I'm gonna go ahead and get that out of the way I've downloaded the FXC file from Droid Developers um, I've downloaded this one right here and I will be putting the links in the description for you to uh, obtain these as well so um, this is the one I'm using and also you, you should check it with MD5 checker make sure that it was downloaded properly and here it is so right here next to it is it unzipped so all I did is right click extract here so I extracted it on here and then you'll get these files so this one right here CDMA Targa 9.8.2 uh, you know the long one right here the, the only XML file on the root of the folder um, you're going to want to edit that. I have Notepad++, regular Notepad would work, um, but any kind of Notepad, just open it up. Now, this is what you'll see. And what you want to delete is step operation equals OEM var. So I'm going to put the link to um, the website that I'm using as a reference, and it will make it easier for you too. So I'm actually going to try to find. So I'm doing Control F and, and then Control V to paste find next and I couldn't find anything great so I'm actually gonna have to manually do stuff I'm gonna remove everything except for step operation equals OEM so find next cool so it found this right here 
and it's actually the one that I want to delete. So all you have to do is highlight it and backspace. And I usually like removing the the spaces in between. You know how it's like that. I like removing them, but make sure you don't delete more than what you have to. So that gets rid of that one. And there's supposed to be one more. Um, and it's this one. Uh, step operation equals open quotes OEM close quotes var equals open quotes fb underscore mode underscore clear open quotes I mean close quotes so perfect so you just delete that done so then I, I remove the space just to keep it clean but there you go all you have to do is control find type that in or paste that in and you're good to go and go ahead and save it and it's done so just to verify I'm gonna close it but open it up again Okay, there we go. So it should be the exact same thing. You know how the last line was right there. So cool, that works. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get this out of the desktop. So just make sure you, you put that somewhere else because um, I'm going to zip it up again and it's probably going to be the same name. So uh, excuse that, there's people outside. So I'm going to just go ahead and delete it. Make sure you still keep a copy though. And then I'm actually going to add this to archive and zip it up. Okay, and while that's going, I'm going to let that run in real time. I'm actually going to open up RSD Lite. And I will put a link in the description as well to get RSD Lite. So this is RSD Lite right here, and it's what we're going to be using to flash the FXZ file to our phone. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually looking for that zip file we just made and opening it up. Then decompress only. And it says there's 31 there. So I'm going to go ahead and do yes. And what that is, it's actually opening it up and placing it as a folder on the desktop. And while this is going, I'm actually going to be turning off my phone because you're going to have to turn it off to put it into the mode that it needs for you to complete the steps. So I'm going to switch over to the phone. Alright, so the phone is off and we are going to be putting it in a mode so we're able to flash it to the computer. So first of all what you want to do is well, you want to get your USB cable and plug it into your computer. Any port should work as long as it's USB of course. And um, don't plug it in yet because then I'll just turn it on and give it power. So what we're going to do so you're going to press the volume buttons on the side, press both of them down, and then press the power button. And keep pressing them, and then this white screen will come up with letters and stuff. Um, the up volume button is select, so make sure you don't press up if you skip what you need to go to. So go down to AP fast boot, so it's like two presses down, and then press the up volume key to select. And then I'll put you in this screen right here. I'm sorry, it's blurry, I know but it just says AP flash mode so then when you're in there hook up your USB and you're connected so I'm going to think that you already have your drivers installed for your Motorola phone on your computer uh, if not then I can put the, the link to get those drivers as well alongside RSD Lite because you're going to need both of those install your drivers for your Motorola phone and then flash with RSD Lite so let's go back to the computer Okay, so we're back on the computer. The phone is showing up right here, and it's connected. We already have our file loaded, and all you have to do is press start. And this will take quite a while. Um, usually it stops right here, and it fails on step five. But since we removed those two lines and codes, it is able to progress. So it does take a while after this, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video, and I'll let it continue, and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, so it, it just completed and it is rebooting the phone. It's going to take a little bit for it to reboot. And the first time it reboots, since it did just reinstall the whole entire Android operating system, you're going to see a little Android pop up on the screen with the little loading bar. It's going to go through pretty quickly. And it is going to take a while to load it. It is reinstalling the whole operating system. So don't be alarmed if it does take a while. Alright, so now the phone has completely rebooted and we are officially back on Verizon's stock 
412 Jelly Bean for the Droid Bionic.